Foreman, have, have, you had a, have you had a chance where you, have you ever put you in a situation where you had to go fight somebody? No. No. And that's one thing. And, and you know, Tom, you got the, the woman that could provoke you to doing things. And then I had my ex was like, not much provoke, she will cause trouble that will get us both in trouble. Right. Yeah, I that's not a good thing either. That's not a good thing either. You're right. You know what? That's like she leaned into that nigga and said, Tupac would have slapped that nigga. And we was like, <laughs> okay, let me go on up here. She put pressure on him. She put somebody pressure said, on him. Did somebody said after that slap, they think Will Smith killed Tupac. I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. That's so funny. It was crazy how this situation happened, and all and every comedian is making a joke about it. But that's what I, it's like the same situation. You see how we all making jokes about it? It's like, what you gonna do, nigga? Slap all of it? It's like, exactly. You gotta go to the my nigga? Like, you gonna slap one comedian at a time, <laughs> Right. Hey, man, what, what, what Will did was if he did joking on him or his wife, what he did at the Oscars, all he did was open up the joke book. He opened the joke book up for everybody. Everybody. Chris Rock yeah. show sold out because Chris Rock was going to spend 30 minutes on him. Trust me. Yeah. Had- hey, man. Hey, man, from, from this point on, I think Chris Rock shows are going to sell out. You know why? Because people want to hear what he has to say. Oh, for sure. It's crazy. Now I want to get slapped. Right, 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 right. See, that's crazy because a comedian like, like yourself, Mike, I would just tell my cousin, like, I mean, my, a person like Mike Watson would have gave him a whole hour. He would have continued to talk about it. Even after the slap, I said he would have continued to talk about it. Yeah, he would have never. Right, I would have did. I would have kept. The only way I could defend myself was roast that guy. Yeah. If you that, you came back up, then I'll be prepared. Yeah, right. Hey, but you know what? I don't think Chris Rock expect him to punch him. I don't, he, he did. You know what? He, Chris Rock expected him, the way Chris Rock's composure was, he expected him to probably get the mic and roast back. Yes. Now, think about this. After he got slapped, Chris Rock was probably going to go in because he said, you know, I would say, never mind. He said, I would say, and then he said, never mind. And then he went on with the show. That is. Um, but I guess from seeing what Will Smith did, he didn't want it to go any worse. Yeah, right. Because you think if you that if you that roasted Chris Rock, we just said something of that nature of like, if you feel this way in March, imagine how you feel in August. That's why everybody was talking. <laughs> what do you think he would have did? You think he would have went back on that stage? No, no. I, I think somebody would have grabbed him. I think somebody would have grabbed him. Yeah, yeah. That's what I say. Like that's what that's what I thought. Like me, you know, all of us knowing Chris Rock, or you know, roasting from just roasting now for hell long. He might not say nothing by his wife, but he's going to lick Will Smith off. Yeah, right, 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 exactly. He should have at least did that to me. He should have, like I said, he should have said nothing about his wife, but he should have lit Will Smith. He should have probably lit Will Smith ass up with straight jokes. Definitely. You got to get him. Yeah. Yo, you can't let him live, man. You got to get him every fucking yeah. day. Yeah, he should have got him. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm like, I like. I don't think nobody's above a joke. I just no, don't. I, I mean, I, I said the same thing. Bro. I said the same thing. Nobody, oh, what's up, brother? What's going on, man? I'm good, fam. What's up, everybody? Oh, yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I think Will Smith really overstepped, and we need to really talk about it. Yeah. Chris Rock is okay. a grown, Chris Rock is a grown man. Chris Rock and Will Smith. I would put them on the same pedestal as entertainers. Will Smith, I know, right? What he did was premeditated. He walked all the way from his seat to smack Chris Rock in the face. He had time to think about it. Yep. It's not about emotions. It's about decisions. He mm-hmm. made the decision to humiliate Chris Rock. How would he feel as a comedian if somebody did that to him? Now, because we love Will Smith, everybody's like, oh, it's okay. Some people are we're divided because we love him. If it was somebody else, we wouldn't feel that way. Hey, man, if it was one of us, if it was one of us, we would have got our asses 
escorting up out of there as soon as we got our asses up and headed to the stage. He had no right. <laughs> yeah. He had no right to <laughs> like a man. We'd have been on the street as soon as we got up. <laughs> hey, man. And like, like, like you, like you ever been to a concert and them old ass ticket people be kind of, where, where's your seat, sir? Yeah. They would have escorted them. We would have, we got, we would have got escorted out of that some old man. Yeah. Real old Now I do like the fact that Will Smith immediately manned up and took a halt. Like he apologized. You know, he said it was his bad. You know, I, like you could tell that he, he took his, well, his first apology. He took all the he took all of it, all the blame. But, but for me, yeah. whoa, 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 he didn't apologize to Chris Rock though. No, for me, Wait, he, 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 no, 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 no. He did, he did that today. He did that yeah. today. A lot of people are saying it's fake, though. I have. Well, yeah, this is what I think. Mm -hmm. I think it, it's fake. I think his PR told him, "Hey, you got to apologize to Chris and everything else." <laughs> and you that did it when he was apologizing when he had the award. He was apologizing to the Oscar, his mother, his this and that. You could have, you could have, you could have Chris did that. But Mike, how, how the hell can you apologize to the Oscars and everybody else, but you don't apologize? After the man you slapped on these show black people, that ain't. That I don't think, go it, this is I think you feel. I think his juices were still flowing. <laughs> this, this is what I feel. About it. This is what I feel about it. I think whatever Will Smith did came from a place of superiority to another black entertainer, and I feel, and that's what that's how I want to see it because if. I don't think Will Smith would have slapped Michael Jordan if he did the same joke. Exactly. Right. He wouldn't have slapped The Rock. I don't think he would have slapped one of them white boys. If they I don't, I don't even want to make it a race thing now. I just want to no, make I'm it No, I'm just a, saying, but I don't think he would have. I want to make it an ego thing. Like, why would you... And I keep saying, it's different if you had punched him. If you had punched him, it would have been a different... But he slapped him. You only slapped him. Well, was, there was, a punch. was it like this? No, I thought you he know? slapped with an open pole. No, he slapped him. He slapped him. Did you and, and that's it. And well, that's look. all the way. That's what they call premeditated crime. It was premeditated. He thought about it. He held all the way. And you see, people go like, well, that's how you protect black women. That's not how you protect black women. That's how you get black men killed. Because hey, man, man, it's, it's for real. So next time, the next knew, guy was going to walk But he knew, he, knew, he knew who he was running up on. Right. You know, he knew he he knew he he knew exactly. Right. He yeah, exactly. He, 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 knew, he knew he was running up on like, he ain't crazy, man. Hey, y'all know what's crazy, though? Don't, is, is the table talk, is the red table talk, is it still on? I think so. Now, think now it, it, would, it would be really crazy if Jada went on there and dogged Will's ass out for doing that. And she's that, known for That would hurt my feelings more. <laughs> yeah, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, let me tell you something. Y'all, y'all, I don't know if y'all know this, but Will is 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 suffering from narcissistic abuse mm -hmm. all day. Because what he's trying to do, he's trying to please Jada. It seems like he's trying to do everything to please Jada, but nothing is never good enough for her. She's still dogging him. She's still doing all this stuff. And that dude is really trying to trying to trying to do whatever he can to get some type of acceptance from her, even to put his shit on the line to do it. She don't give a shit. I mean, because she's telling you, I'm still in love with Tupac. I never loved you. That that. I mean, how much? I, I, how I, much I, I don't know when it became okay for anybody to go put their hands on anybody. So I don't even just from that angle alone, it's wrong. Don't put your hands on nobody. They from even kindergarten. Don't put your hands on nobody. Go report to the principal. Go, you, you know, you could put out a statement the next day and go like, you know what, Chris Rock, I, I think what you did was wrong. You're not supposed to talk about my wife like that on social media. You know, you could do that. Do not putting your hands on anybody. And it's funny. It's funny that you know the fans. The fans always kill me. You know, as comedians, we know we know the rules. We know what's up, especially a season comedian. Fans kill me. A lot of fans. Oh, but that, that wasn't a comedy show. It's not like. You don't understand that, okay, it's not a comedy, no. but that dude is a comedian, and he's basically doing a comedy set at an award show, so he's still telling jokes. Right. So it don't matter if it wasn't a comedy show. Yeah. You know, if you really yeah. ain't in the comedy, you would know. Like, what he did, what he's doing is still comedy. And let's face it, without the comic, 
the show would probably be boring. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You need like I mean it was a few comedians. They go I'm all the then they're all the presenters were comedians, man. So it's like you yeah, you need comedians, no doubt. Yeah, y'all know something else too, and let me get out of here. Listen, as comedians, we are the last uh we we're the last wall of free speech. Now, because of what happened with Will, people are gonna to try to say, Well, you can't say this, you can't say this, you can't talk about me, you can't do that. Right. But people don't realize we're the last wall of free speech and of what we want to say and not have consequences, not just disrespectful shit, but we say stuff that other people are afraid to say. They think it, but they won't say it. We say it in a comical manner and still get the point across. But now all of a sudden something somebody's got got going on or a specific subject or you just can't do it no more. And that's, and that's did, you, what did, and did you hear what you just said? In a comical manner. Everybody be trying to ignore that. Everybody yeah. trying to ignore what you just said in a comical manner. Everybody <laughs> trying to ignore that, man. Like well, this dude don't mean no harm. This is in a and comical then, manner. He's telling a joke. And last, last, you can't be the one now will has made a living off of joking about different scenarios and other people he's done that but me billionaire whatever but when it's your turn to get joked on or some or your people starting to get joked on you can't get mad because you've done it too if everything arms around for a circle and again i gotta drive this point home he did not joke on her hey you got alopecia you a ball here you he didn't say that he just referenced her haircut to a fucking movie, right? What? What? What is? I mean, come on now. Yeah, right. One more, one, like one more thing before I got here, too, man. People think that as comedians, we put ourselves on this pedestal. What they want to joke about too? It just don't work. Right. It's not one sided, and just we can joke about. What we want to joke about. Okay, who you is? You can joke about what you want to joke about. It's a joke. Mm -hmm. You don't mean no harm. Do I have a comedian got mad at you yet about anything? I heard cat. was mad at me. I had a few comedians go out, you know, if Cat was mad at one time. A few boys been mad at me. Has anybody been mad at you guys for anything, any comedian about what you said or did? Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, you, you know what? Everybody has a bad day and everybody sometimes just don't feel like it. But honestly, yeah, I've had comics to get mad at me for certain things I see and joke at me. I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten uh, aggravated, you know, just hanging around comics. We doing this shit all day, every day. Somebody's gonna get aggravated, you know, every once in a while. But as far as somebody seeing someone on stage, unless somebody's stealing your shit, yes, I'll be aggravated, mad. Right, right, right. A comic doing this set and doing something, I'm be like, look at this motherfucker, he crazy. And keep it moving, he's a comic. So I expect Take that from him. You know shit, just doing off the wall stuff, then I'm gonna get aggravated with you because you're still a man and you gotta have some type of integrity and, and respect for this, you know? Now a comedian but now a comedian getting mad like like you said, my cat got mad at you, Indian, and getting mad at a comedian for telling jokes about you. That's stupid. Man, that's some of the Exactly fuck exactly that ain't no sense. Dude, when 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 that dude was swinging that mic stand at me. And doing all that other bullshit, comics came for my ass. Mike, you hear the joke. You just left like you, you. And the shit was hysterical. To me yeah, you're not going to get mad. Like, what the fuck? I do the hey. whole time. What I'm getting mad at? Everybody's open game. Nobody's above a joke. People have to remember that. Nobody is above a joke. Period. And the thing is, another thing is about timing. If, if, if y'all, Mike, you know yourself. If I'm fucking around on a bridge butt naked two o'clock in the morning and I fall off that bitch and I kill myself sooner or later one of you niggas gonna say something about it y'all just look you know Because first of all, what the fuck is this nigga doing butt naked, you know, uh, on a bridge at two o'clock in the morning? I'm glad so, you just said that to let people know how deep and real it is and I'm glad you just made that happen. Man, man, niggas, niggas joke about people dying. Not right then. Like, uh, to get another person. You was that serious, me personally. I really don't. Mike, know that right. serious. So, so, Mike, Mike. Now, y'all, let's let's keep it one hundred. Mike, we all hanging out. We on a third. We on a third floor building. 
Your ass, we on the we on the top, we on top of a party. Your ass fall off the top of that building all the way down, bust your ass. The first thing we gonna do is go down and see if you okay, nigga. What's up? Exactly. They gonna like they gonna, exactly. So you gonna like you gonna like that bitch nigga. I couldn't get jiggy with that shit. Right. The last the last <laughs> point. The last point. Why you said nobody's above a joke? I was gonna throw out a few names. Magic Johnson. Uh, right. Uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. Ain't getting it for years on serious. Yeah. You know, so we know Magic Condition. We know Slick Rick Mike got the one eye. For Forrest, Forrest Whitaker got one eye. We know everything about Michael Jackson from his nose to his skin complexion. For years, been getting jokes. Now, you know, now it's too far. I mean, hey. <laughs> this, nigga got, this nigga got jumped on. This nigga got slapped over a reference. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, what do you think about what do you think about the Will Smith 